Hello friends, trick number 438 and I am here with two more simplification problems of rational numbers. Now as you can see on the board, we have five rational numbers here and we need to simplify this into a single rational number. Likewise we have five rational numbers here and again simplification is required to solve this. Now how much time you think you will take to simplify this? Now in on an average this question consumes nearly one minute to solve but if you are aware of little bit of basics of taking LCM then I think the time used in taking LCM can be saved and only the time used in adding and subtracting integers will be required to solve this question. Let's see how. Now see in this first question the denominators are 5, 3, 15, 5 and 3. Now as you can see the largest denominator here is 15 and other denominators 5, 3, 5, 3 all are factors of that largest number in the denominator. Now in such cases taking LCM becomes very very easy. Now you don't need to follow the traditional method of taking the LCM of all the five numbers in the denominator. Since 5 is a factor of 15, 3 is a factor of 15, again 5 and 3 both are factors of 15. So whenever such condition arises in the question, you can write the LCM of such numbers as the largest number itself. Remember, all other numbers should be exact factors of the largest number then the largest number is the LCM. And now traditional method will apply here. If you divide 15 by 5 you get 3 and multiply 3 by 2 you get 6. So we have a plus sign. 15 divided by 3 is 5 and into 8 is 40. Plus minus becomes minus. Uh, again we have the same denominator so numerator will come as it is. 15 divided by 5 is 3 and 3 into 4 is 12 so this will be 12 and plus minus is minus. So 15 divided by 3 is 5, 5 into 2 is 10 and now the problem is very very simple because it just needs the basics of integers. So all the positive numbers you can just add them together. So what do we get by adding all the positive numbers? This is 6 plus 40 that is 46 and plus 12 this is 50 8 and the negative numbers minus 11 and minus 10 that is minus 21 and in the denominator we have 15 so we get the final answer 58 minus 21 is 37 and upon 15 which is the correct solution of this question. Isn't that very simple? It just requires the knowledge of basics of taking LCM. Let's have one more question. Now see in this question we have a different situation where the highest number in the denominator is 8 and all other numbers 7, 3, 5 they are not the factors of 8. So 3 in the table of 3 you will not find 8. In the table of 5 also you will not find 8 and in the table of 7 also you will not find 8. Now what happens in this case? Just observe that the denominators all four denominators are different and we have some prime numbers in the denominator. Here we have 3 which is a prime number, 5 which is again a prime number, 7 which is again a prime number. So there are 3 prime numbers and 1 composite number. So in this case also you don't need to find the LCM. In the denominator you can just multiply these 4 numbers and you will get your LCM because these three numbers are prime and they are not the factors of 8. So in such cases the LCM is actually the product of the denominators. So what we write here? We have to multiply the four denominators. Now how do we multiply the four denominators? We can make this very easy. See 8 into 5 that is 40. 40 into 3 is 120. So now 
we just need to know 12 into 7 because 120 into 7 means 12 into 7 followed by a 0. So 120 into 7 is 840 which is the LCM of this all the fractions. Now in the denominator here you can write 1 and now the traditional approach will follow very very easily. Now see here we have 7. So since we have taken the product of all the numbers in the denominator when you divide 840 by 7 the answer will be 120 and the same answer 120 can be obtained by multiplying the remaining denominators. So 840 divided by 7 is actually the product of these four numbers. So 8 into 5 is 40, 40 into 3 is 120 and if you divide 840 by 7 again you will obtain 120. So 120 into 3 is 360 plus now 840 has to be divided by 8. If you can divide it very easily it is 105 but if you can't do it then multiply the remaining denominators. So this is 7 into 5 35 into 3 again 105. So 105 into 5. So that comes to be 525. So I hope you have understood why we have obtained 525 here. I have divided 840 by 8 getting 105 and 105 is to be multiplied by 5. So that is 525. Now we have a negative sign and now 840 is to be divided by 3. So 280 into 2 that is 560 minus and since this is 1 so 840 will come as it is in the numerator and finally we have plus so we need to divide 840 by 5 or you can multiply these three numbers that will be the numerator so I will divide 840 by 5 I will get 1 6 8 so that is the numerator now in the next step I need to add all the numbers which are positive so 8 5 13 1 carry so 7 8, 9, 9 and 6, 15, 5 again 1 carry, so 2 and 8, 10. So 1053 minus this is 13, 14, 1400 upon 840. So here you have your answer, just subtract the numerator and you get your final answer. So 1400 minus 1053, obviously the answer will be negative and this will be 340. 7 upon 840. Now I can't see any common factor between these two numbers so I am leaving the answer as it is which, which should be the final answer which you have got on simplification. So friends you see knowledge of taking LCM will help you solve these complex problems in competitive exams saving a lot of time and if you like the video do share it and subscribe the channel.